Today, we will focus on the Waste Quadrant Working Groups Initiatives, an initiative that has the CLI's 18 municipalities and 12 First Nations working together to find solutions on shared waste management issues. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Natalie Lagasse, planner with the WMR, who will give us more information on the project. So the initiative uh, started with the release of a regional waste management report uh, that was completed by HDR in 2018. So the report suggested working regionally to address common waste management issues to find shared solutions. So we created the four waste quadrant working groups that include all communities of the uh, CLI. So the four waste quadrant working groups are organized based on geography and waste hauling routes, and we've been meeting since 2019. It helps the CLI communities build important relationships and connections with their neighbors. So as a region, this is really important because it helps think about how we harmonize our, our practices and share our services. This helps achieving economies of, of scale, pooling our limited resources, and reduces the duplication of our efforts. Communities share many priorities as they are all trying to increase uh, waste diversion and be better stewards of the environment. The HDR report highlighted some common areas that working regionally could be of great benefit. These include eliminating the burning of woody waste, reducing our plastic waste, as well as increasing and improving our communications around waste management. Uh, working together helps communities share their knowledge and approaches that have worked in their communities, as well as it provides a, a table for discussion on, on issues that they all share. Working together highlights potential solutions. It increases awareness of management approaches, as well as funding opportunities. Also, uh, through the Waste Quadrant Working Group, CLI communities were able to access a number of experts uh, in waste management. So for example, we brought in Metabolic, who's an international firm out of the Netherlands to speak uh, about organic waste management. We also brought in Mike Fernandez from Strategy Makers, who's a local expert on, on waste management to share his knowledge on, on the local system. So working together allows collaboration and really fosters those opportunities. The quadrant working groups help build relationships and connections. In the long term, this will be critical as communities move into discussions uh, on shared servicing and infrastructure investment. By setting the table for these discussions, the waste quadrant working groups set the foundation for more complex discussions that can lead to some really big benefits like increased waste diversion, uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, as well as improving our cost effectiveness. Part of SDG 11 is to make cities and human settlements more sustainable, and waste management is a key component to this. So the efforts of the waste quadrant working groups, as well as the long-term benefits of them working together, all work towards this by improving air quality through reducing greenhouse gas emissions, as well as improving waste management by improving diversion and um, providing shared solutions. The waste quadrant working groups also support SDG 11 by taking an inclusive regional approach to waste management, and by doing this, uh, they work towards integrating their perspectives, their populations, and their resource needs. And together, all of this is working towards uh, resource efficiency, climate change mitigation, as well as improving our regional resilience. Chiefs from the Southern Chiefs Organization and the Mayors and Reeves of the Winnipeg Metropolitan Region are working together to bring different perspectives and knowledge systems to the table that will help their communities confront common challenges. Together, the Collaborative Leadership Initiative is working towards meeting the goal of SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities. Together, these leaders are showing us how to collaborate for a more sustainable region.